certainly the big news that is breaking, and that is two-week lockdown for Wollongong, Greater Sydney, uh, the Blue Mountains, and also the Central Coast. Lockdown until July the 9th. Dave Matthews, always great to have you, Dave, on 3AW Football. Uh, what can you tell us all? How is the Giants sort of uh, ingesting this news that broke about an hour ago? Yeah, it's obviously regrettable, Tony. It's, it's, but it, it seems very necessary. I think it's, it seems to be absolutely what most people were expecting might happen as things are, uh, evolved over the last few days. But, you know, it just shows you how quickly these things come up. I mean, it's not that long ago that we were really worried about the situation in Melbourne and thought we wouldn't be playing games there. Now we're actually in Melbourne and, and you know, really going to be prevented for a little period to to get back to Sydney, but I mean the main the main thing at the moment is clearly just the health and well being of the society. So we obviously support any decisions that New South Wales make that they've got a lot right over this period. Dave, Dave, sorry, sorry Lee, Dave, Jimmy here. There's been also a report out that if you've been in Sydney in the in the last week, you have to go isolate. Does that affect Giants and Swans and other teams that have been in New South Wales? Yeah, we're just trying to work out what those dates look like, Jimmy. I, right now, my answer would be I don't think so. But um, you know, I think I think uh, there is some ambiguity in 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 some of what we've heard or, or read that we just need to clarify. That's not any criticism at all. It's just we're all trying to trying to digest you know what what's happened. I mean, we got we got the uh, opportunity to get our players and staff out of out of Sydney before um, you know anything got declared. As, as you know, prohibitive from a, a football point of view. So we're down there, and and you know, when you're in Victoria, I mean, the, our view is that we we're looking under Victorian protocols, and you know, these guys are heavily tested. They've been living under supplementary protocols anyway, so I think they're pretty well, pretty well covered. But yeah, clearly it's a concern for things like our game against Gold Coast, and and uh, and thereafter. You, you just hope things are settling more. Uh, Dave, we're all living a bit weak at a time on this front, aren't we? But you must be thinking now it's probably going to be a month before you're going to be allowed to be going in and out of New South Wales easily again. Yeah, I think so, Lee. I think the undertaking from Players Association, even the AFL, was to the players, particularly sort of, well, let's try and, you know, at maximum length, keep it as sort of three weeks. That, that three weeks would take us to the Gold Coast game, in fact. I mean, that's clearly in doubt. That's a game that we've... If, if the lockdown ends in Sydney, they um, have called it a minimum lockdown. If it ends on July the 9th, we're due to play Gold Coast at Giant Stadium that week again. So that game's clearly in doubt. And I think you know our guys have embraced the fact that they're back-to-back -back at the MCG and they understand that it could go beyond that. And clearly right now it seems like... A... Look, Dave, we better let you go with that, but you're ready for it. You've told they're going to be embracing it. Like everyone else, you just taking the news in but certainly for the next couple of weeks you are in Victoria appreciate your time at such short notice thanks Tony yeah Dave Matthews there